if x is a discrete random variable then we define the probability distribution function of x as f of x being equal to the probability that the random variable x takes on lowercase x. When we think about the probability distribution function of a random variable as a function which contains all information there is to know about the random variable x. So if I have a probability distribution function of x then it must satisfy certain properties. So to discuss these properties Let's say that my random variable x can take n different values, where n is a positive integer. Let's denote these possible values of x, that is, let's denote the range of x by x1, x2, all the way to xn. x1 being the first possible value that x can take, x2 the second, and so on. For example, if x is the result of tossing a dice, then we have n equal to 6, and we could set x1 to be 1, x2 to be 2, all the way to x6, which would be equal to 6. f of x1 is the probability that my random variable will take on the first possible value. For the fair dice, f x1 would be 1 over 6. So here's the first property that my probability distribution function must satisfy. f of xi must be greater than or equal to 0 for all i between 1 and n. What this says in words is that the probability of every possible outcome must be greater than or equal to 0. We cannot have negative probabilities. It's just a more convenient way than to write that the probability of the first possible outcome should be greater than or equal to zero, the probability of the second possible outcome should be greater than or equal to zero, and so on all the way to the final possible outcome. With this notation we loop over i and let i go from 1 to n so that when i starts at 1 we have this statement then i goes to 2 and we have this statement and i keeps on going until it reaches n and then we have the statement that the probability of the last possible outcome must be greater than or equal to 0 as well. The second property that the probability distribution function must satisfy is that if I sum from i equal to 1 to n, where n again is the number of possible outcomes, and I sum the probability of each outcome, then I must get the value 1, 100%. So in words, what this says is that the probability of getting one of the outcomes in the range of x must be a hundred percent. If you like you can write this just as well as f of x1 probability of the first outcome plus f of x2 probability of the second plus keep on going until we've added the probability of the final outcome and that should be a hundred percent. Here's an example let's say I have a random variable x its range is 0, 1, 2, and 3. I have a probability distribution function given by f of 0 being 1 over 8, f of 1, 3 over 8, f of 2, 3 over 8, and f of 3, 1 over 8. In this case, n is equal to 4. My x1, first possible outcome, is 0, x2 is 1, x3 is 2, and x4 is 3. I can check that every probability is greater than or equal to zero. All these are numbers that are not negative, so the first condition is satisfied. If I calculate sum, I go from 1 to 4, f of xi, I get 1 over 8 plus 3 over 8 plus 3 over 8 plus 1 over 8 and that is precisely equal to 1.